she was fairly consistent. And if the judges decided that it was not um, art... Nice. That was a very technical... And with Tanisha. Pretty. Very pretty. A little loose in the midsection. Girl kid. <laughs> oh, mm. she missed that last round dive. She's It's, this is anybody's contest right now, and that is typical of the platform diving sometimes in collegiate competition because all divers don't consider themselves platform divers, but they get up and they do it for points for their school. Swimming and diving points combined for the championships, and you know, you gotta hand it to them. When they get up and do that, I, I mean, I, I give them all kudos. What a great, Ashley Huge McCool. Tribute. Florida Gator, the lone senior, her last dive. And she was fairly consistent. Her first dive, she received some four and a halves, but after that, mostly sixes, six and a halves and above. So this is a valiant effort, knowing that she's not necessarily considering herself a platform diver not doing dives off the 10 meter at all. The scores will be her second best dive through the five rounds. A couple of eights that'll be discarded. And here's Ann Tuxen, sixth place through four rounds. Five rounds actually go pretty quickly, and the divers can choose to do an arm stand or not do one. Um, because they don't do all six groups on the platform. They only do five, and she is choosing to do a twisting dive. She puts that towel down for confidence. The platform is not slippery, and I want to make a point of that because the facility is beautiful, and it is kept in tip-top shape. She likes to swing her arms, though, when she stands there. She's trying to gain, gain a little rhythm before she takes off, and... And if the judges decided that it was not um, artistically impressive or the overall impression was diminished because of that arm swing, they could take off. But it would be very highly unusual if they did. Um, because a diver can start a dive any way they choose to. Scores for Ann Tuxen. Her second best dive through the five rounds. Almost 60 points, not quite. So here's Maha Amir. Struggled in that last round. She has one more chance. Going off the lower platform. Nice. That was a very technically well-performed back one and a half with one and a half twist. It's not a real high degree of difficulty dive, but what she does, she does very proficiently. So that might score more judges points than she's been scoring in terms of this zero to 10 score. Maybe not overall after you multiply the factors. No, you're right. That was her best dive, so saving her best for last and able to finish on a high note. But here is Savannah Trube and Cynthia. She is our leader into this last round. She is doing the same degree of difficulty that Tanisha Leco, the defending champion, is doing. And they're only a little less than two points apart. So this is the, the contest most likely right here and with Tanisha. Pretty, very pretty. A little loose in the midsection as she enters the water. Having a strong core is so important for divers. Not only 
to line up vertically and be able to go in without a splash, but also to protect your back and not get the kind of soreness that you might or possible injuries. Pretty dive. A lot of seven and a halfs for Savannah Troub. So we gotta remember that 63 points when it comes time for Tanisha Lacoe, who is not up yet. It's Alicia Claremont from A&M. Jay LaRue in his 10th year of coaching. He is just a master at having fun in practice and yet expert coaching, expert. What does he call her, the acro kid? <laughs> Oh, mm. she missed that last round dive. She's only a sophomore and was fourth in this competition last year. But she's very strong off the platform. Just once again, boom, over rotate and can't get the fives that way. So here comes Tanisha Laco. Last year again, not only did she win this event, it was a school record. She's second coming into this last round. Okay, she needs some eights. If she's going to win this contest, she needs what you would say is more seven and a half. There's seven judges, more seven and a half than eights because the average score to go into first is 7.7. .7. It's, I think the entry will prevent her from receiving the eights. It indicated that even though it was vertical, her hands came apart before she got underwater. And I believe that might be good enough for second, but won't win her the title or allow her to defend the title. Well, you're exactly right. As we see the score, she will still remain 13 points or so behind Savannah Troub. And Labadant was fourth entering this round. She's coming off her best dive of 63 points in the last. We'll see what she can do here in this fifth and final round. It's so unfortunate that there aren't fans here because the sophomore from Missouri being in first place right now would receive support like you've never heard before, and especially from, from her teammates. And, you know, it's just sad. That, but it's, it's been a very difficult year for everybody, so n not more so than one. Well, it's true, but it, you know, a chance to win at home, win an SEC championship, and then not have the fans here, a little bit disappointing, but she'll gladly take it if she can bring home the goal. Yeah, and I think the good news is they got to have a championship. They got to have an SEC championship, and a lot of divers haven't been in a championship meet the entire season. Interesting setup here for yeah. Lavadon. Backwards arm stand. And she chooses to split leg press. Very gymnastic type move up into this arm stand. You see the support on her right wrist. Judges are judging already. There might be a bit of a deduction for that wavering before she went up into the arm stand because they start judging the minute the feet leave the platform. And yet the dive was very well performed and she held the, the uh, arm stand once she got up into it beautifully. But I think the sevens would have been there without that wavering. So here is the scores. For Lavanant. And Missouri sophomore is looking more and more like a champ. And Kyle Bogner in his second year, they will certainly have cause to celebrate if Savannah True indeed wins. It would take eight for Kendall Knight to go into first place on this last round. Not going to do it. The title will go to the Missouri sophomore. There's a smile and a hug for Savannah True. 
Kendall Knight needed a big score and did not get it with that last dive. Going to be worth sixes. Six and a half and a seven. But Savannah True. Very consistent. You missed one dive slightly in round four, but she was still winning after that fourth round. From Anchorage to Columbia, and she's an SCC champion. We'll visit with her when we come back to Mizzou. Well, you can't see the smile with the mask on from Savannah True, but it has been in full force. She is the SEC champion on the platform. Your final results, the Missouri Tiger wins it to Nisha Leco, the defending champ. She will finish second by about 13 points. And then Kendall Knight, who led for a couple of rounds in the middle, will finish third. And Cynthia, for Savannah True, will be go back to that second round when she put up big time points. Yeah, this was her highest degree of difficulty dive and she did it with such composure. And even though it didn't put her in first place, it put her in position to go ahead in the next couple of rounds. And she stayed steady, consistent, and the composure was impressive. It's so weird. And we welcome in Savannah Troub. Savannah, congratulations on your platform championship. Thank you. Thank you very much. Savannah, I was impressed with your oh, composure. Sorry. And you might have just heard me talking <laughs> about that. You were very consistent. Do you think diving at home contributes to that? Or did you feel more pressure as a result at all? Um, I didn't feel more pressure. I, uh, I've been trying different ways to compete since I started a little bit later. And I guess the version that I did today works, so that's exciting. It's always fantastic to win your first SEC title and can certainly play into the rest of the season thinking that you're headed, hopefully, to the NCAAs. Do you feel that way? Yeah, I mean, it definitely gives me a lot more confidence. Um, but I mean, you can't really go into a meet hoping to get first because that doesn't work out most of the time. Well, it so. was a thrill watching you win at home, even though one of these days when you have the fans and the swimmers here, you'll hear a lot more. <laughs> yeah, that's usually a lot more pressure. So I think that's me. <laughs> too, but I don't know. Very good job. Thank you. That is Savannah True, but she got some big time hugs from her teammates here from the Missouri Tigers. And Savannah Troub is our SEC champion on the platform.